Clashing rallies today ahead of a recall election against a South Bay judge. One group wants Judge Aaron Persky booted from the bench. The other believes that he should stay put. KPI X5's Len Ramirez is live in Santa Clara with how Persky himself responded today. Len? Well, he came out and spoke on his own behalf, but this is the type of thing, Ken, that you see in close elections when both sides sense that they are either running out of time or the gaps are narrowing. In this case, there were two rallies, one yes on recall, one no on recall. And in both instances, opponents also showed up to try and steal away the spotlight. When women's rights are under attack, with just days to go before the election, tensions are running high on both sides of the Judge Persky recall effort. Now, can you explain why, if somebody follows a probation recommendation, why? This man disrupted a yes on recall rally, prompting a police officer to step in the middle. But there's no legal basis Sir. for you. There's no legal basis for you telling me anything. Then a no on recall event was crashed by recall supporters. The two sides jostled to place signs in front of each other. I'm glad you are here because you get to listen and hear the facts. Judge Persky sentenced Stanford swimmer Brock Turner to six months in jail for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman outside a frat party on the Stanford campus in 2016. Persky said he was following sentencing guidelines and the ruling was lawful. But it made him the target of a recall effort by victim supporters who said the sentence showed bias and was too lenient, including Stanford law professor Michelle Dauber. What woman would feel comfortable or safe having her sexual assault case adjudicated by Judge Persky. Dauber called on Persky to respond to recent quotes from some of his supporters who she says blamed the victim and publicly doubted she wrote her own victim impact statement. We're here today to call on Judge Persky to disavow these statements. Persky responded this way. I can't comment on the cases in any way, shape or form. And we have a First Amendment. We have people speaking out. I speak for myself. And he did just that, standing in front of a row of judges in the Santa Clara County District Attorney who support him and the no recall campaign. Someday you may be on the right side of the law and the wrong side of public opinion. And when you step into a courtroom before a judge, you will expect, you will request, you will demand a judge who will follow the rule of law. The election now less than a week away, and both sides say they will continue to turn up the heat to try and persuade undecided voters. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.